On this channel we often talk about war, medieval warfare, ancient warfare, classical warriors. And if you think about it, I mean, apart from YouTube, but the media in general, whether it be films, or whether it be video games, whether it be novels and fantasy, we glorify warriors. Now, in the very moment we glorify warriors, we also glorify war. And yet, we can all agree that war is a terrible thing. So the question is, can we link the concept of justice to the concept of war? Or are they absolute and totally opposite. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, this is the Metatron speaking and today we have a little bit of a philosophical discussion although I would like you to take this video as a way for me to express my opinions on a topic which is definitely linked to the sort of content that I put out on YouTube. It is my way to just share my way of thinking, my, the schools of thought that I follow and most importantly my own personal ideas. So normally on this channel I talk about history, I talk about what other people did, what other people said, but today I'd like to focus a little bit on the way I feel about the concept of war. So, as I was saying, war is definitely a terrible thing. I mean, what does war produce? People die, countries get poorer, people do terrible things in, during periods of war, and greedy and, and awful men become richer and more powerful at the expenses of young men who lose their lives. War brings destruction, we lose beautiful monuments, we lose beautiful areas, they bring poverty, famine, illness and most of all death. So if war is such a terrible thing and then why do we glorify warriors? I mean on my channel I, as you know, I wear armour, I uh, learn, I'm studying to use the, the sort of implements that these men who um, fought in wars, who made war their own occupation, their own jobs used. So when you, whenever you learned uh, Hima, whenever you learn um, Kenjutsu, Panarika Yattu and other styles, Gatka, even, you know, not, not only Japanese and, and Western European, there are so many different styles of war. We are studying the techniques that these people used during war. And yet, war is awful. Well, here is my question. So can war be just? The thing is though, well, you see, this is how I see it. Of course, in a perfect world, war wouldn't be present. And, and as a civilization and as a species on this planet, we should try to get as much away as possible from not only wars, but the very concept of war. We don't live on a perfect world. And unfortunately, even if we go all the way down to the very animal world, um, they fight. They fight for resources, they fight for territory, and we humans have brought that to the next level because what we humans are capable of doing, animals would never do. Uh, the sort of evil, wicked, terrible things that we do. And during war, it is during times of war, that we have definitely shown our worst as a species. So upon this light, we should consider warriors to be terrible men, awful people. I mean, whether it be Roman soldiers, whether it be samurai, I mean, look at the Roman soldiers, what did they do? Uh, they went to other countries, they, they used their Roman machina, the sophistication of their system, um, to impose by force their tributes to other countries that were free, they were just living their own lives, and, and yet the Romans went there, they killed those who, who didn't agree, and they did terrible things. I mean, and so did the Japanese. I mean, look at the samurai. The samurai, what were they doing? They were just killing each other, 
to bring more power to their daimyo, to their particularly during the Sengoku Jidai, uh, to bring more power, more land, more control to their own daimyo, their own warlords, who in exchange gave more riches to their own, to them. So, and they were beheading their adversaries, they were killing them, they were cutting their heads off. You even have scrolls telling you how to do that precisely, quickly and without damaging the edge of your blades. This is how specific the Japanese went. And if we look at any country, I mean even medieval knights, you want to talk about the Crusades, uh, what they did, the Knight Crusaders, uh, when they went to Jerusalem, you know, they, upon entering this, the holy city, they slaughtered the Muslims, the Jews and the Christians. It was a bloodbath. And we don't need to go all the way back. Second World War, it's rather recent. I mean, we were very lucky in this generation now. We didn't experience war, but our grandfathers did. And we went this close to it. So it's not like war is something medieval. War is something very recent, unfortunately. But I would like you now to follow me on this new uh, idea. Think about it this way. You're a man, you live somewhere in the countryside of southern Germany. We are in the late Middle Ages. You're living your life, you've got your family, you've got a beautiful daughter and a wonderful son. Your daughter is ten, your son is eight. You're married to a beautiful woman, you're living a happy life. You're not rich, you get by, but you've got your farm. You work hard every day to bring food to the table for your children and your beloved spouse. One day, a rainy morning, you behold three silhouettes appearing from the horizon. A drop of cold sweat lingers on your forehead as if you were afraid of making a noise which could attract omen to your family. Your world you have built with sacrifice and love is about to be shattered because of greed, wickedness and hatred. As the clouds open in the sky, you recognize the glittering metal and you have no doubt now that these men are armed thugs and they're coming for your family. How do we consider this man? How do we judge this man? If you take your sword and you fight, you protect your family, you don't let those men rape your daughter, kill your wife and bring your son into captivity. I say the man who fights and kills to protect his family and to protect his freedom is a hero. See, this is the sort of warriors I glorify. This is what, when I wear Roman armor, when I wear medieval armor, when I wear Japanese armor, I am looking at the minority, at the pick and flowers, those warriors who were heroes, those men who fought to defend their lands, to defend their freedom, and at the end of the day, to defend each and every one of you. Because again, you don't need to look that far back. Are you English? Well, do you enjoy the freedom you have now to bring up your children to the way you want, to select your religion or lack thereof, to live your life according to what you choose? Well then, before saying that we are totally and always against war and you are all for peace, well, we should think of all the lives of those brave young men who died during the Second World War to protect you and your freedom against Hitler. If they had chosen only peace, there would be no freedom for you today. I like looking at those men in the past who glorified their names, who challenged death. This is the sort of war that I consider to be just. When you fight to protect your family, when you fight for freedom and the people who did this I call them all heroes so this is why although I think war is a terrible thing but there are some situations in this unfortunately imperfect world in which we all experience our earthly journey we call life in this world sometimes we can have a light even in the midst of darkness. Now, don't get me wrong, there are very few cases in which I would consider it to be justifiable to take up a sword to fight. And definitely among these, greed, power, religion are not right. I can't fathom the feeling the man who put on his armor, 
kissed his wife's children and children goodbye and went to the front whether he be a Spartan, or whether he be a medieval knight in shining armor, or whether he be truly honorable Japanese samurai, or whether it be an Anglo-Saxon trying to defend his family from the Normans, I honor these men. And this, this very minority, is what I think we should never forget. We should not forget that there were men like this. Again, the minority, unfortunately. But they existed, and these are the men we should not forget. These are the men that I try to bring up to my memory each time I wear an armor, each time I study history. These are the men that set the example and set the bar high to what a knight, a samurai, a Spartan, a Roman should have been. This is why I love knights. I don't love all knights. Those who did terrible things, those who slaughtered people, those who used their highly, highly advanced technology and techniques to bring suffering. No, I don't like those. I despise those. I think their lives are despicable. But I love, but I love the idea of those few men who did fight bravely with a burning heart, a burning bosom to protect their families. So this, of course, leads us to the very concept of self-defense. And on this, I'd like to, to talk about very briefly, because I know that many of you are young, and I'd like to expand on this a little bit. I am strongly in favor of self-defense, but we need to be careful not to abuse self-defense. The line is thin. So if someone comes to me and insults me, and I shoot him in the head, I am abusing self-defense, and I should be put in jail. Whenever you can avoid violence, you should always do. So you need to understand the thin line there. Whenever you can avoid, avoid. If there is a bunch of drunken guys, and they want to do something bad to your young sister, go away. If there is no way to leave, hide and call the police. But if they found her and they're starting to hit her, fight and I don't think there is anything wrong with it. You need to use your best judgment. You need to be wise. So this is why I say, learn the techniques, study martial arts, hoping you'll never have to use them, but learn to use your best judgment. Because some of us, unfortunately, sometimes are called to make a decision, and that decision could shape the rest of your life, or it could bring an end to your life. So these are very serious decisions. These are not things that should, take, should be taken uh, with a light heart. So yes, I believe that in some cases, war can be just. There are very few. But these are the sort of people that I glorify on my channel. Men of honor, warriors of old, a paragon to emulate.